we'll be continuing our topic that uh, topic that we were studying uh, you know figure classification basically that was odd one out and uh, c is completion and uh, your non verbal analogy right so let's get started this question is about next in the series what do you think should be the next in the series in this case looks like a tough one after two after two a new option d sir. option d d for delta yes sir d for delta okay we'll evaluate that anybody else okay it's 135 degree 135 degree again 135 degree okay how did you guys decipher it's d option c sir Okay, there's option C as well. Okay, anybody else? One moment, this one down, up, down, up. So damn sure it will be down, all of it are down, okay. Down, up, the new figure, down, the new figure, down. Okay, so for sure B and A will not be the answer. Why? Because, you know, after two iteration, this is changing its orientation, right? And now this will also change the orientation. This smaller side will be touching this plus sign. Right, guys? So your option A and B is not going to be the answer for sure. We will have something like this, okay? And the third one, yes, one second, guys. Option A and B checked out. Up, down, up, down, up, and it will be down. Every all the four options, it is down. Okay. Now, 135 degrees. Okay. Sorry. This 45, 90 degrees. 90 degrees. 90 degree anti clockwise. 45 degree clockwise. 90 degree. Anti clockwise, then 45 degrees anti clockwise. Okay, guys, why did you guys think option C or D? With what logic did you guys C and D? I guess it's a 50 50. Yes, in middle of plus civil and clockwise direction plus 45 degree rotation, uh, all of the images are rotating 45 degree are clockwise. And symbols are alternatively go through go through that time in opposite ending like this. Okay, so what you mean to say is that the orientation of these two are same. These two are same, right? So, and then from here to here it is changing. So the orientation of this one will be opposite, right? That means the structure will be in this and this place, right? This is what you are saying. No. Sir. Symbols are only so in the in the image one. Yeah, you can go through that. Uh, that the the half rectangle will will come uh, come into the last ending the in opposite side. Is it coming opposite? Yes, sir. It's come to the down sir. Yeah, it has come down. That means it has rotated by. If party will be clockwise. Sir. Yeah, 45 degrees. All images are yeah. clockwise. 45 degrees anti clockwise, right? Clockwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. anti clockwise. Anti clockwise, it has rotated. And then from this is from uh, 1 to 2, right? And from 2 to 3, what is the rotation? 45, 90 degree. No, it is 45 degrees, 90 degree clockwise. Right, 90 degree clockwise it has moved. 90 degree clockwise it has moved. Can we say like that? And this is anti clockwise. I'm still not getting why did you? Okay, so everything it is moving 45 degree clockwise. This is what you are saying. And then the yes, position of symbol is changing from opposite. Down, down, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so that means this will change to plus. And Plus. instead of coming from here, it will go up. 
right this symbol will go up and this symbol yes, will yes. Yes, sir. Right. yes sir yes yes sir cool. it's a very good observation thank you so much thank you so much for this help okay look very so over here it's cross and then every single figure is clockwise moving 45 degrees and after the rotation after the rotation these two elements sorry oh, yeah let me use this these two elements each of these two elements are interchanging okay once it is here this element is going there and this element is going down right let's say it was a and it was b so what is happening that 45 degree turn and this ideally it should have come it should have been here and here but instead of that this one is going opposite that means it's coming here and it's coming here right so okay. with this logic yeah, buddy, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the help. These are very cumbersome questions because we need a very keen observation, right? <clears throat> so with this logic, so with this logic, if it goes, we know that A and B are not your answer because of this, this element, okay, because of this element. And now it will change into plus. And ideally, these two elements should have been here. But instead of that, this element which was supposed to be here, it will go up with its changed orientation. And then this will also come opposite. One moment. And this will also come opposite like this. Cool guys. Okay, we don't have things like this. Yeah. And where is this? C. Right. C is your answer. Okay. So whoever said D. Please watch out. Please have a little bit of keen observation. Okay. Thank you so much, buddy. Shall we move? And please do help me in all this. Okay. Because I haven't solved and come over here. Okay. So we are solving it together. Right, guys. Shall we move? Yes, yes or no? Okay. Cool. Yes. Let me. Yeah. They are the good ones. Okay. Yes. Yes. From each of this figure, at least we can conclude that this right corner one is going to the next, to the left, to the top left corner. To the top C, left corner. So that means, yep, see, let's evaluate that. So that means this plus will move from here to here. Okay. Now, wherever we have plus, okay, in this only we have. And the another observation is that whichever is there in the middle, this center one, after reaching the center, it is getting vanished, right? And a new element is being introduced. So we won't have S and that option is also not there. So since we have observed that this plus sign is changing its position and we have only one such option, so we'll go ahead with option C. All of you got it? All of you got it, guys? Yes, sir. Cool, good. I like that loud and clear. Yep. Yes, guys, we are here. Okay, minute hands are moving 135 degree. So the next time the minute hand will be here. Okay, where do we have a minute hand here? These two C and D gone. Okay, now let's see. 45 degree, 90 degree, 45 degree. And your, our hand is moving anti-clockwise. Let's forget that it's a clock. This this clock function in a different way. Okay. So your minute hand, smaller hand over here from 1 to 2, 45 degrees anti-clockwise. And then here to here, 90 degree, again anti-clockwise, then 45 degree, then again 90 degree, then again 45 degree. So if it comes 45 degree, it will become over here. It will come right here. Guys. And D, sir. D. Mm. Option D, sir. D for, D for delta. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys, the, the, the minute hand, it is moving by 135 degree, right? So minute hand will reach here. Minute hand will reach here. And your hour hand will reach here, right? So, yes, which sir. of this? Sorry, sorry guys. Minute hand is moving 
135 degree clockwise. Okay. Anybody, any problem? Anybody, any problem, guys? Look, those of you have some problem, okay? If something from this corner, if it moves from here to here, it will make 45 degrees. If from, from this position, if it moves this position, another corner, this degree will be a 90 degree, okay? And if it moves from here to here, this will be your 135 degree. Okay, just add, just keep on adding 45, 45. That's it. Okay. And then if it comes in this to this corner, this will be how much? It's a straight line. So it will be a 180 degree. Anybody, any problem as to how we are, we are saying 45, 90s, 135 and things like that? Okay. Even if you are unable to get these numbers, it's okay. You don't, we don't have to get these numbers. We just have to get the sense, right? Shall we move, guys? We got to finish off this PPT. Paris. Yes, sir. Yep. Thank you so much. These were when, you know, when non-verbals used to be another level. <laughs> okay. So these two are interchanging its places. This is what I can observe. Are these two interchanging their places? No. Nope. Okay. Over here, they are changing their places. Then they are not changing their places. Change their place from here to here. Change their place from here to here. And in this also, they will change the place from, these two will interchange the, their place. So we will have the circle here and a star here. We have this circle here and this star here. That means B and D are gone. Now let's try to find something else. B and D are there. Yes. Anybody who got it till now? It's option A. Option A. Okay. Option A. Cool. One moment. So this is going here. This is going here. This is going here. No. No, no. It, it is opposite. Sorry, sorry. Just opposite of that. So this one is going to this side. This is the, these two are changing their places basically. And then in this one, they are changing their places. And then again, these two will change their places. Okay. So we will have circle over here. We have this a circle and a star. And over here, we will have an oval shape. And over here, we will have this. We don't know about this. We don't have to find out because by these four elements, we can get some answer, which is that one, A. Cool. Cool, guys. Just stick with me. This is the next question. Again, the orientation clockwise, anti-clockwise, 135, 95, 90, sorry, not 95, 90. Okay. Let's see what is happening over here. D, okay. Yes, Kavya, good evening. How are you? I'm just curious. Okay. Okay. Let her sip her coffee and then she will speak. That's her choice. Sir, option D. Option D, okay. Cool. This is an analogy question. Okay, we are not talking about the series. One is to two, then three is to what? Okay, this is an analogy question, right? She was like a Barbie doll, but she was not a doll, right? So that is analogy. We are giving a, an analogy that, that she was like a doll. Okay, that is the case over here. Your shaded one is moving clockwise 135 degree. Yeah, 135 degree. Option A, sir. Okay, option A, disputes. I love disputes. Yes. Anybody else? Your shaded one is moving 135 degree clockwise. Shaded one. So let's move the shaded one 135 degree clockwise. So the orientation of the shaded one will be here. 
will be here. OK. Only this option, but let's check with the unshaded leaf as well. It is moving 135 degree anti clockwise. OK, 135 degree anti clockwise. So if it is, if it moves anti clockwise, the orientation of the unshaded one will be here. Where do we have such an option? A. Cool, guys. Cool, buddy. The one who got D. Both are told by me, sir. Okay, both the options were told by you. Okay, fine. Yes, Don't do this mistake in exams. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sir. Cool. No problem. One or two you can do. No problem. That's that's we cannot avoid. That's a human error. Had we been robot, we would have got hundred percent marks. But we are human. Okay. Let's just be empathetic about. It. Yes, guys. There seem to be some relation between. All these three three elements seems to be moving. Right. And there is an introduction of no, no. Oh, yeah. This one has gone up. Option this C, one sir. has gone up. OK, option C, we'll evaluate that. One moment. Anybody else? Any disputes? And all others are moving down by one and changing their orientation, right? So if this one goes up, this element goes up, so it will look something like let's make a semicircular like this. Okay. Then your second element will be something like this because no, 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 no. It won't be that way. One second. Yeah. Then this first one will be changing their orientation like this. And then this one will change their orientation to look like this. And lastly, your triangle will come down to look like this. Guys, which one do we have in the option? No, no, no. Yeah, you are right. Who was who was that saying that C? Look, this, this is oh great. This mistake I have done. I have not changed one moment. Why is this not working? Yeah. Oh yeah, it did. So we'll have to change the orientation of this element as well. This is a mistake on my part. OK, so which one is this? OK, it looks like over here. You sure it's C. One moment, guys, one moment. What is happening is that all of these elements are shifting one position down and changing their orientation, right? So this one will go up. If this one goes up, so it will OK, all of that it's it's up. And now if it changes its orientation, that means A is gone in A. The orientation has not changed. This one is gone. Now it will come down. That means it will become something like this. Where where do we have this option like this? We don't have it in B. B is gone. B is gone. And then. Oh, classes. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so B is gone also, and then uh, we had the disputes about the triangle. This figure is same, and now if it looks something like this over here, if it looks something like this, it will change its position to become like this. Right, guys? Yeah, right, yeah. I think we should go ahead with option B. Krishi, what do you think? Yeah, this element, this element, same, this element, this element, same, this element, this element, same. The dispute is with this one, these two, this one and this one. And if we, if it moves one position down, it will move down. And this element, this element will start to look like this. No, 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 no. This one, this one is not changing its orientation. It's in this figure also. What what is that? It is like this and it is like this. OK, basically it's changing its direction, so it will be like this. Yeah, guys. Guys, mind blowing. I must say that you are right. I guess C. C should be the answer. Guys. Guys, we just have to change the direction of the arrow without thinking whether it is making a, 
arrow sign like this or an arrow sign like this, like this. Okay. Guys. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Need to be very, very watchful. Shall we move, guys? Yes, sir. Cool. Thank you so much. You guys will be feeling like uh, I've solved it before, sir. <laughs> Come on, and here he is teaching me reasoning. No worries. Okay. Yes, guys. I guess each of these elements are changing their position one. Okay. And over here, not this way. Okay, let's take each of the elements in that case. Let's take each of this element in that case. This one is going up here. Okay. And this one is going down here. So in that case, we will have option, a triangle. Please, option A. A or D? D delta. D delta. Yeah. Looks fine. Delta looks fine. If we take it here, so we'll have the triangle in this position, only these two options, right? And we will have we will have this. Yes, we will have this one here, right? This arrow will have down. So none other options we have got this arrow except for D, right? B and D are limited, only A and D left. So that means D will be our answer, right? Cool guys, let's move. What's happening? People are dropping off for some reason. Okay, they might be planning for some world tour maybe. Okay. Yep. Yes, guys. We are not going for a world tour now. We are writing FCAT examination. Let's focus on that. Post that we'll go to world tour. Okay. Yes. Please let us let us read the question first at least. Option C, you said? Sir, option C. C, okay. What is the logic behind it? So, I guess each of these, these two are interchanging their places and these two are interchanging their places, right? And after coming to the top, it is getting shaded. So, we will have these two will change their places. That means C, C, C. That's okay. B gone. This one is up over here. And now this one is gone. And then these two will change their places. These two will change their places. Okay. So if this to change their places, so it is, yeah. This was, this, this, the orientation of this is, changing by 180 degrees. So this triangle also the orientation will change by 180 degrees. So over here they have changed it by 90 degree only. So A will not be your answer. C will be your answer. Right guys, anybody who is not getting it? Anybody who is not getting it? Guys, let's finish off this one together. Cool. Yes. Odd one out. Which one is the odd one out? Option A. Hmm. Option A looks the odd one out because in every other places we have plus sign over here. We have this multiplication sign. The outer elements. This is the multiplication sign. But over here in A only we have a plus sign. But remember, there will be questions like this. Okay, at least two of this black and one. Yeah, option A. At least two of these black ones. Now we had a dispute. Two of these black and one are here. Black ones are here. At least two of them are here. There is only one are here. Okay. By this logic or by this logic. Okay. All other, it's a cross. It's a multiplication sign with some element over here. Something like this. So that is why A is your answer but guys let us evaluate why your b cannot be your answer okay you see carefully in b the outer one it is like this 
but in all others it is facing downwards. So if somebody comes and says to me that sir, B can also be the answer. Okay, then I will reply to them. Yes, B can also be the answer. <laughs> but you know, there's like three different elements in this figure. The first one is this. I have to draw it. Is this one is something like this. This is your first element. Then the another element is this and the third element is the. These ones, OK. But over here in B, the differences are only with these elements, right? But in A, the differences are with your. Two different elements, this one and this one, OK? Both of this, and that is why we'll go with option A. Right, guys? Shall we move? Yes, sir. I'm just I'm just wondering how do you guys are going to write your previous year mock test? <laughs> the questions you you already solved it with me, so you probably know the question and you know the answer as well, right? But anyways, no problem. Uh, I think that could be a good practice for you. Yes, yes. Option B, sir. Option, option B, sir. Option, option B. Option B and not A. Why so? So the dot is uh, placed in middle of the line, sir. But in option B, it is placed in the corners. Yeah, that's a beautiful observation. Great. Yeah, absolutely. That's the reason. It's at the corner, but on in every other figure, it is like that. Okay. So over here, I wanted to tell you a disclaimer that Philip, that please, please do not go with the figure. That looks little clumsy. Okay. In the very first instance, it will feel to us that option A is the answer. But over here, option A is not your answer. Okay. We have to look a little bit more closely. Right, guys? A is your answer. Shall we move? <coughs> Shall we move, guys? Sorry. Okay. Any doubt, anyone? Please stop me and ask. I think people are running away because. I would ask them why they have not booked their slot for mentorship. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, apart from world two. Yeah. Yes, guys. Odd one out. Ninety-nine. Option D, sir. Option D. Okay. Option D. We'll evaluate that. Dot left. Dot left. Dot left. Are you sure? Why do you think option D is the answer? Why do you think option D is the answer? The dot and the dot structure is a left side of the shaded box. Sir. Other three, sir, right side of the shaded box. Sir. Yes. You got it correct. OK, so basically in D alone, D alone is a different figure than all others. D, when you look at this or this this element, this shaded part, this shaded triangle, what you find is that just to the left hand side you will find a dot. But over here, if this two to be similar, it had to be over here to the left hand side. Okay, but over here it's to the right. In this one also to the right of this blackened part, to the right of this blackened part. And that is why we'll go with option D as the answer. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your help. Yes. Odd one out, guys. Sir, option B. Option B, okay. Yeah, option B looks correct because of all these unshaded leaves. Okay. All these are in this shape, but over here alone, it seems that it's in this shape, the unshaded one. Okay. And, and what? And what? Let me look carefully, a little bit more carefully. Okay. This figure and this figure, these two figures are same. Right. There is no doubt about it. The only difference between C and D is that if we take this one as the reference, this blackened part is to the right of it. So similarly, if this is the reference, this blackened part will be to the left of it. Okay. So, so in that case, in that case, this one is the prominent figure. Okay. 
look guys again again the dispute okay the dispute is over here about your look 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 okay this for sure that a and c is not your answer because these two figures are same if you just rotate it this way 90 degree you will get c okay if you rotate a you will get c but in b and c the d the difference is of the orientation okay orientation what i have been telling to you that you will be prioritizing the elements the elements over orientation okay so even if it is to the left of it as against right as against right it is it will be considered as kind of similar figure as that of b it's like the same old question that we have been discussing yesterday right which one is closer towards 100 98 or 92 okay so in this case this is 98 this is 100 this is again 100 and this is your 92 are you guys getting my point right because the major elements these two you know the unshaded leaves that itself is distorted and that was not supposed to be distorted right okay cool but in the examination if the question paper setter, the people who just set the question paper, if they surprise you with D as the answer, don't be alarmed. Okay. Thank them. Okay. Thank you so much for setting such a beautiful paper. Okay. And move on. Cool. Yes. We are here. We are here, guys. Looks like a little bit challenging one. Next in the series. What do you think will come next in the series, guys? Hmm. So from A to B, 1 to 2, this is changing its direction. Okay, fine. Rest all others are same. And now this is changing direction. Rest all others are same. And over here, this arrow is changing the direction over from here to here. Rest all others are same. And again, this is changing. No, 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 no. Apart from the arrow from here to here, the arrow changed, arrow changed, this arrow changed, then then this arrow changed, then uh, one, then this arrow changed two, then this arrow changed three, and then what will happen? This arrow from here to here, this arrow change. So this will change. Okay. Well, that looks a little bit confusing. Do it carefully. In that case, hmm. this has changed. From here to here, it has changed. And just all others are same. Okay. And from here to here, these two have changed. One moment. These two have changed. This alone has changed. If these two changes, it will become like this. And then these one, two, three have changed. Okay. One, two, three have changed. So one, two, three have changed, and that's why it has become like this. And then one, two, three, four have changed to change their orientation. And now this one, two, three, four of it will change their orientation. So let's just pull it like this. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. This will change its orientation, so it will become something like this, like this. And if this one changes its orientation, five. I think the none of this should be the answer, guys. Did you guys get any breakthrough over here? Look, from here to here, these are your six element: one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Sir, option B, sir. Option D, D for delta. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One moment, one moment. Let's evaluate that. Okay. In option from one to two, only one figure has changed. Right. Rest all others have remained the same. And then, except this, except this, two have changed. Right. This and this two have changed. And rest all, all others have remained the same. 
right and then what has happened that except this except this all that have changed leaving that one constant this one this one and this one has changed that means three of them have changed and now we will leave these three of them no these are not changing these have changed from here and from here these one, two, three, four have changed again over there. One, two, three, four have changed, right? So one, two, three, four. You are saying D. D, you are yes, saying sir, current. Okay. My opinion is that it should look something like this. Let's just simply draw it. Okay. Now, if the five elements from here, you can see one. One, two, this has also changed. Three, four, this has also changed. These four elements have changed from here. Okay, these four elements have changed. What have changed? One has changed. One, two has changed. One moment. Why sir, do you think D, D is the answer? Yeah. Yes, sir. I will tell you, sir. It's simple. Uh, yeah. Let's compare option five with every other option. Uh, if you compare option five with the A, uh, there's only uh, Three changes happened, but we need five changes to get that uh, uh, picture. In the first yes. picture, only three changes. In the second picture, only four changes. Yes, uh, only four changes. One, two, three, four. Not, not four, six changes. Six, six changes. changes. Yeah, six uh, changes. Then next one is four changes. One, two, three, four, four changes. Yes, Just five changes. According to that okay, one, two, yeah. three, four, five rule, it is five. One, two. Three, four, five. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a great observation, but yeah, that's the right way to go. Over here, one has changed. This one has not changed. This two has not changed. Two, three. Okay, so we'll go ahead with this answer. Yeah. Guys, a few of the questions will be like this. You can't help it. Yeah, buddy. Thank you so much, Abhikaran. Okay. The basic point over here was that we we decoded yes, that one two yes 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 Deva 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 come on my God yeah so the basic logic was that one figure is changing two figure is changing sorry elements one element two element three element four element five element will be changing okay so Abhikaran is saying that over here the five the in only option D the five elements have changed. Very good observation, buddy. Thank you so much. I was thinking that it should change in series, that these two, these two, and this alone should change because that was happening in the series. Okay. And with this, that is the a lot of time will pass the aspirant. Yeah. will that like this. Yeah, yeah. But also, there is no option like that. Okay. There is also this problem. So we'll have to go ahead with D as the best answer. Right. Let's do this one. Guys, anybody, any problem with question number? I mean, the previous question, any problem, anyone? Feel free to ask yes, Abhikaran in that case. Yes, yeah, okay. And then you will ask me. Next in the series, guys. Next in the series. Mm -hmm. After this four figures, these have simply reversed right why so why so guys do you have english class today oh sorry uh, gs class gk gs class guys am i audible guys am i audible yes sir okay do you guys have your uh, gk gs class i think yes sir yeah, so in that case, what do you guys think about this question? Yes, sir. Option A. Okay, I'll ask your inputs. Let's, let's just try to solve it by ourselves. This one, this one, this one, this one. I'm not getting why from 4 to 5, it has changed its orientation. Why, 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 man, why? Okay, if if... So that means of answer option also they have given only this. So it will change its orientation, right? 
So what is happening? This is going up over here. It is up now. It is down. So this one is here, so it will go up in that case, right? So what option do we have? A, B, C and D will not be the answer. B is changing. OK, now it has changed opposite side mirror image. OK. And then. Mirror image. First is the mirror image from 1 to 2. This one, this element, mirror image from 1 to 2. And then it has reversed and mirror image. It has reversed. It has been reversed and mirror image, right? I mean, this one is reversed. And when we reverse it like this, it will become like this. And then when you apply a mirror image, it will become something like this, right? So shade it. So shade it like this. Okay. So then it becomes like this. And then there's a mirror image. So. And then there's a mirror image. So over here it is again what is happening from this to from this to it will change reverse. So that means over here like this and a mirror image of this. So it will look like this. And that is how it is looking like this over here. And now let's apply a mirror image. So it will essentially look like this. So we have this where in option. Where do we have this element in? C and D already cancelled. A and B. Yes. We have it in A. Yes. Uh, who was that? Christy, I guess. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your help. Yes, buddy. If you have any doubt, any question in question number 87, please consult Christy. Right. Yes, guys. Shall we? Yes, guys. OK, the overall structure is plus plus. Multiply, multiply, plus. To obviously, it will be plus. All of them are looking like plus. No problem. OK, OK, these and all are moving from this T and multiplication. T and equal sign have gone on to a toss. OK, then new, then all the elements have remained the same, right? Then two elements again, these two elements, which one S and dot have gone to a toss. Right, S and dot have gone to a toss from here to here. And again, what has happened? Is it a D or a rectangle? Mm -hmm. It looks Option like a tough one. Option A. Okay, just wait. We'll try to solve it first and then ask your opinion. Okay. Thank you so much. It is in the middle. From top, it is getting in the middle. SSS gone. Okay. It's three times these elements are being no no. C is four times. Dots are three times. C are like C C C C over here. Okay. T is also gone. S S S. Three times S. So four times. One thing is for sure. One thing did you guys observe that the elements, the exact elements, one is getting, you know, uh, chugged out. Okay. After four iteration, right? Because you see there is C, 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 C. That means one thing is for sure that you will not have C in your. In the next one, okay, because everything is repeating three times because these dots are three, one, two, three. The figure before this, it will have a dot in it because it is repeating four times. How did we conclude that? We'll come to that. S, 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 three times S. But over here, D is also, D is only coming here one time. So, yes, so we can please help. What do you yes, think? sir. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, yes. Loud and clear, buddy. Yes, sir. Uh, I want to make an uh, uh, understand here. We just need to compare only first two and second two and last uh, with the sixth one, sir. We don't need to compare every five, sir. 
why but yeah. that's a serious serious question you will have yeah serious uh, if you i will tell you sir uh, first two picture if you see that uh, blank space in the right side mm -hmm. uh, the right side is filled with uh, uh, yes is moved towards its right and uh, the dark circle come to, towards the down down okay okay uh, so come to the, that's why it becomes second picture from that we see uh, blank picture left side uh, the first picture we have a blank space right that left yes. side is only oriented left side is only moving so okay, it is moving the, this way 45 degree okay uh, it's 90 like, degree sorry yeah uh, we didn't need to make this degree, sir. Just we know. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, left side uh, only moving. Then we come to the third to fourth picture. Uh, mm -hmm. The blank space left side is C. The C is moving towards the center. The blank to the left hand side is C. Yeah, it's moving towards the center. C is moving towards the center from here to here. So you are basically comparing one and two, three and four, and then. Similarly, you are telling that five and six. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, as okay. you see, uh, left side uh, to that uh, blank is C. It will move towards the center in the three and four. Yeah, I mean to the right hand side of the blank. Okay, the the whichever figure is to the right hand side of the blank, it is moving towards the center, right? Whichever to the right hand side of the blank. It is moving uh, towards the center, right? Uh, so, which is to the right hand side, it is moving towards this, the center. This one, this one is at it's, the right hand side. Uh, so the option here, okay. I'm, 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 I'm a little bit uh, dicey about this, buddy. Okay. Okay, so I will make it clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got your logic. I got your logic. Okay, it's like yeah. this. It's like this you are saying, okay. Yeah. My only problem is that why is it not coming in series? Because it has to be it in series. Sir, to interrupt, sir. It is it is coming in the series also, sir. How? Sir, even in second picture, the right hand side of the uh right hand side element okay. is in the center. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You got it. You got it. You guys got it. Then C is coming to the center, and then this will come to the center. Yes. Yes, sir. Good one. Good one. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. So dot came in center and then cross came to center, then C came to center, and similarly, this rectangle will also come to center. <clears throat> Thank you, guys. Shall we move? Yes, sir. Cool. Yes, guys. Again, another challenging one. Let's look at the questions this new element they have introduced here option b is one option b one moment b you are saying b so from there's one new element there's another new element okay and there's another new element and there's another new element so there'll be three element but one new element right so one new element, which is that one new element it looks like a star, but which one is going? Uh, this one is here, this one is here. Okay. One new element is coming into the picture, right? So one, two, three. One will not be the answer because all the four elements remain the same, right? And in this one, Option D can be your answer. Which one is going? This one has gone. And uh, over here also, this one, the equal to sign has gone. And your equal to sign has gone. Okay. It has moved from here to here. Okay. One position there. From here to here. Are you thinking by that logic that this is moving to the third position? And then... You know, this one is moving to this position, right? So this one is moving to third position, and then this one is moving to this position. So this arrow will move to this direction, right? Are we correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So guys, uh, in this question, 
Uh, look, guys, these are old question papers. As I said to you, the cutoffs were just very, very low, 70, 80 marks. Okay. So <laughs> these questions are challenging. Let's respect these questions. Okay. And now they don't ask you this question. That is why your cutoffs are like 155 and 160. Okay. So guys, look, in every next figure, what is happening over here is that at least one of the new elements are being introduced. In this case, this one has been chucked out. This one has been chucked out and this one gone. And over here, which one is gone? Over here, this one, yeah, this one is gone, okay. So out of these four figures, at least one of these will be gone. So in this, what we see, this subset, this, this element, this one, and this equal to sign. All of these are same. So we'll check out this one, right? And when we observe a little bit more closely over here, what we see that a new one has been introduced. Okay, this star has been introduced. So, okay, in all the three options, this star has been introduced. Now, if you look a bit more closely, what is happening that the down one, from one to two is moving to the third position over here. Okay, over here. And then what is happening from two to three, this one is moving, okay, from here, over here. And again, and again, this equal to sign is moving into this position over here. And then again, this position, this is moving to this position over here. Okay, so in this case, obviously your arrow will move to this position. Right, guys. So in that case, your option will be B. Thank you so much, buddy. Yes. I'm a fan of this type of question. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We cannot check it out. No, in this new pattern, they won't give you like this in one single series. They will give you somewhere here, somewhere here, somewhere there. Okay. Mix of you know, all these questions. So up, up, left, left, left. Okay, up, up. What is happening over here? This corner, this corner, this corner. Okay, three times. I think this series is coming three times. Up. Yeah, this is for the series of three times. Guys, did you guys decode it? Who all have you decoded it? Option A. Option. Option A. Okay, one moment. Hmm circle and these two positions are changing okay and uh, again over here these two positions are changing all the three positions are changing right option a alikan what do you think sir option a is correct sir option a is correct okay yes, sir. Uh, can yes. i explain it sir yes yes there were others also. Let's let's give them opportunity every color. Okay, sir. Yeah. Who was that, buddy? Please come front. Okay. Yes, I have doubt between option A and option D. Okay. Basically, the placement of all these three elements. Yes. 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 What do you think about this question, buddy? Come on. First, guys, we got to move. So comparing the figure one and two, we can relate with five and the options, sir. The options. Comparing the figure one and two, we can relate with the uh, five and the uh, answer, sir. Option any, any, five and A. Five and A. Okay. The corner of the image is remain same, sir. Another will uh, extend, sir. extend that place. In corner of triangle is same. And a box and circle will interchange. Okay, okay. Box and circle. This, this, and this will interchange. Okay, box and circle will interchange. So over here, you are saying that uh, all three, these two have. This one has gone over here, right? And uh, this one has gone over here to the left. Okay. I'm not getting it. One moment. Can you please uh, explain again, buddy? Yes. Sir, I think option C may be the answer, sir. 
option c uh, looks little dice uh, we can say option c as well as your answer okay sir i thought like the, the my approach is like in the first it is a uh, triangle alone changes its shaded position and next square alone changes its uh, shaded part and next uh, circle circle alone changes shared shaded part and the series repeats so next yeah. triangle alone should change its uh, shaded part sir okay look what is happening over here is that let's say let's take each of these elements okay let's take triangle okay let me draw it like this okay look at it carefully okay so right now it's it's shaded like this okay over here and now in the next one it is shaded like this okay in this figure also in this figure also in this figure also that means this is being repeated three times and same is the case for all other figure as well if you look at the circle look at the circle carefully the, it is exactly the same and now after three iteration it is only changing right so the circle the shaded part will be like this only for the next two figures it will be shaded like this on that basis we can arrange option c and b right right guys yes sir on that basis we have been eliminating option c and b and over here my i'm not able to get the breakthrough about the position yes harita did you get it why we have eliminated option c sir the square uh, from 1 and 2 a square with a space it places in second places sir yes it is so changing like yes 1 and 2 it is changing Sir, yeah. in fifth and option A, the circle from first position changes to second position, sir. One moment. And from two to three, did you find any relation? In two to three, if it if it if it is changing like this, the the this one is coming over here. This one is coming over here, and this one is going down there, right? From two to three, I'm saying, let's not just look from one to two and five to one in that way, right? And that's how this figure has formed. and now if if it again goes down like this way so what is happening what is happening that these two have changed their position and this one has come down so from 3 to 4 what is happening yes my doubt is about a and d yes sabhi kar sir yes sir can i clear it yes yes please come friend sir uh, in the back first picture we can see that the circle from first to second the circle is stationary sir it's not moving anywhere yes the so only anywhere. is moving is that uh, square and uh, triangle square and uh, triangle can we make that uh, linear oh, yeah. uh, uh, placement yes. of that uh, structure in a 90 degree it's changing right yeah yeah you you got it and yeah. and it interchanged yes yes you got it right and we you. can use the same thing the make uh, rectangle triangle of the yeah, yeah. position make an 90 degree and it will change it yeah it says you got it buddy very good observation buddy thank you so much okay from 1 to 2 these two are interchanging thank you so much buddy okay uh, so your class would also thank you these two are remaining the same at the same position and these two are interchanging right and again from 2 to 3 this and this remains the same these two have been interchanged okay and in the next one this and this have remained the same let me mark it in green okay let me mark it in green this and these two have remained the same these two have changed the place okay now these and these have remained the same these two have changed their place right and that is why this will remain the same over here over here these two both are remaining the same but now since the square was at the center it will come to the other side and since uh, the circle was at the left corner now it will come at the center my god come on seriously i need water <laughs> guys thank you so much as this was a really tough question man come on come on okay maybe not so tough as the uh, doubt asked by harita that embedded one right It really took some time to strike it in our mind. How many of you were able to think that way? 
I was not able to think that way right? to keep this stationary. Okay. And then uh, to keep, uh, you know, the triangle stationary like this, and then to keep these two stationary, and then to keep these two stationary and change the interchange. It. Thank you so much, Barry. That's a very great observation. You'll do well. Yeah. Barry, guys, any doubt, anyone, if you guys have any doubt, please consult Abhikaran, not me. Okay. Guys, shall we move? Guys, shall we move to the next question? Yes, sir. sir cool. Sir. Yes. Option B, sir. Option uh, B, one, two, three, four. Yep, looks pretty fine. Looks pretty fine. Anybody, any doubt? One has become two. So three will become four. Okay. Had, if by any chance they would have given you like this, then you would have selected this, okay? Because one is becoming two, it's also like saying it has become two times, right? So thankfully they have not given that option. So then the question would have become disputed. Right guys, B is your answer. What's the time guys? 8.15. Yeah. Option yes, A. Guys. Three, four, then three, four. Outside, inside, inside, outside. Yeah, option A. Cool. Guys, the easier ones. Let's finish it off early. Cool. Let's move. A few of the dicey question, guys. One more thing option before C, I sir. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean, oh, one second, guys. The one one moment in your examination hall. In your examination hall, guys. If you are feeling a little bit dicey about questions like this or the questions like this, please respect it. Please respect it. Do not break your head. Don't waste five, ten minutes of time. We are studying. That's why we are we are breaking our head to solve it. Right. In examination, if you are not getting it, please respect it. Move. You should be very quick in leaving the question. Okay, we don't have to do all the questions. There are 100 questions, 100 fishes in the sea. Even though you do that tough question or any other easier question, you'll get the same marks, right? Cool. Yeah, we were here. Yes, okay. Yeah, option C. I don't think any one of you will have any doubt. Shall we move, guys? Shall we move? Sir. Cool. Yes, this one. Yeah, guys. Option D, sir. Absolutely, sir. option D, yeah. Anybody who did not get it? If you do mistake in this sort of questions, it would be a criminal offense. Good. Yeah, let's read. Odd one out, guys, odd one out. It's an option D. Yes. Why option D? Six faces. Number of sites is five, others are six. Good. Fantastic. Yes, guys, yes, you guys are correct. What do you guys think about 97? Shall we go with D? Can we? Because number of sides minus two is the number of dots. Four minus two is the number of dots. Four minus two is the number of dots. Number of sides, six minus two. Over here alone, it is at the corner. Can we go ahead with D? Yes, sir. Cool. 98, guys. Let's count the number of plus. First, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is the answer, guys? Four. Yes, yes, cool. Which one? Ninety-nine. What is this dot? Like, seriously, they asked like this also. I mean, who? <laughs> At one instant, people will rethink uh, about the, uh, you know, uh, choosing the option. Like we cannot simply just go and take the D as the answer because at one moment it will let us, uh, you know, think about the option answer. Why D? Just because there's a dot over there? Like it can be this silly as well. 
Yes, guys, D is the answer. Let's not confuse it. Okay, hundred. Half half answers. Cool. Thank you so much. Let's move. Let's move a little quick, guys. We are at slide number forty. If you don't solve it, it will go to you as your homework. And I know you don't like it. None of us like it. Yes. Odd one out, guys. Orientation. Check for the orientation. Three of the three of the figures will be same. Option A. Option A. Yes. Option A. This is the difference, right? Cool. Yes, Avikaran. We might yes, need sir. your help again, but before you help us, just get us the answer option. And if you are unable to solve it, we'll call reinforcement. Sir, that option C. Option C. Okay. Okay. I'm getting lazy day by day. It has moved. Okay. Do we have an introduction of any new figures? No. Okay. New figures triangle. Okay. Triangle. Option C. Option C. Okay. Option C. Okay. Yeah. This is what you have to check for the first. That is there a new kind of element has been introduced? Yes. Okay. At one instance, it might not be visible. It was not visible to me unless you said to me that there's a rectangle. Right, guys. Cool. Thank you so much. C is your answer, buddy, because there's a new element that has been introduced instead of plus. They have chucked out plus. Okay. And that we should not do. Uh, sir, in this type of questions, can we assume the serious concept, sir? No, we should not. Okay, sir. Yeah. We should not. Basically, we should not. But if two questions are exact similar, like this, like this, exact similar. <laughs> Like at least if, if let's say over here they give you like this, this one. Okay, I mean, uh, let us say they give you like this, okay. Something like this they, they make, okay. You can conclude that these two are similar and then you will think about E and D, 50-50, okay. From here you will think 50-50, okay. Somewhere in reasoning you will have to take a little bit of risk as well. So don't shy away from that. Okay. Better get 32 out of 32. Okay. At least attempt. You'll get with practice, you will get you start getting 30 correct. This is what the general observation is. Yes, guys. What do we see over here? Option C. Option C. And why do you think option C very? Because okay. every arrow have its dot in right side, but it's on the left side. How can you say it's in the left side? So option D. Option B and D are same, no? Yes, sir. Option I am saying option C because every other option have its dot on right side to that arrow, so but it has left side to it. That's right. But if you look, what what is your point of view? You are looking it from top. That is why it's looking to you. It's on the right hand side. But yeah, yeah, look it's from, looking from, from that down. top. Yeah, if you look it from the down, how will it look? It's still on the left hand side, buddy. The orientation has not changed. Yeah. So option D, sir. Option B. B, sir. Option B. Option. Yeah, yeah. Option D and B are same, no? Yes, sir. Uh, I think uh, they are using the it is rotation. Sir. It's rotating 90 degree. Then it has to be above, but it's looking below. That's it. No, 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 no. It's it's not in series, buddy. It's not in series. Okay. Yes, we can. Your point of view is from this perspective, this direction. And what if my point of view is from this direction? It is it is still no matter wherever you rotate, it will still remain the same. Okay. Will it not remain the same? If you if you rotate these two elements, let us say one 90 degree, it will come to the top. Okay. And if you rotate this one, yeah, one moment. We just got the breakthrough. Probably we got sir, the breakthrough. Option D. Sir. I mean, what's the difference between A and D, guys? 
it looks yeah, more the, the arrow mark that part of the line is dark comparatively to option a b and c sir is it yes sir i think so sir is it <laughs> you we, you don't think option b and d are same in option like in option b the arrow mark dark down sir down Okay. 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 Circle. Okay. Okay. I, I get this. This part you are saying, basically, this part. No, sir. Down, down, sir. Uh, the arrow mark which is connected to circle. Okay. What is happening over here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is bigger. Yes, sir. Right. This is this. That is bigger. bigger in all the other options. Indeed, it is. Indeed, it is smaller. Guys, seriously, now a first. People are showing their true colors, right? Huh? Guys, Avi Karan, buddy, you'll have to change your answer, unfortunately. No worries, you still have 31 questions, right? Okay. So, guys, better let's go ahead with option D. Because look, buddy, this orientation of all of these four are pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same. We cannot eliminate on the basis of these these elements. Okay, we'll have to conclude essentially that this one, this one, and this one, the size are same, but over here it's just smaller one. Okay, and that is why we'll go ahead with D. Little dicey question. You might want to respect it in the examination. No harm in it. Instead of getting minus four, just get it zero, right? You know what I mean? Yes, guys. <coughs> yes, guys, come on. What's the time, buddy? So your this one will come this side. So we have A, C, and D. B chucked out. And then our head is coming down, up, and down. After reaching here, it is coming like this. And then it will come to the middle, right? This one, this element will come to the middle. Where do we have it in the middle? Over here, we got it in C and D, but not in A. It's coming over here, this direction. Then it is coming here, then it is coming here. Then again, it is coming here, so it will come in the middle. <coughs> and the arrow mark is not changing. So which one is the answer, guys? C or D? D. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. Yeah. 92, guys. 92. Question number 92. What do you think should be the next in the series? They have introduced a star. Okay. Then they have introduced a rectangle. Then a triangle. Then S. So obviously, there will be a new one. So which one is that new one? Which one is that new one? Rectangle has already been introduced. It could be cross, okay, fine, yes. Could be cross. It could be even this one. We see that this, this arrow is not changing its direction throughout. So it will not change its direction over here as well. Right. It's a completely new figure, so we cannot introduce this rectangular all over again, rectangle all over again. It has to be a new figure for sure. And these three only remaining constant, no? So this one is also not your answer. Now what? Here, here, okay. Then from here, it is moving to this one. This one, okay. Then from here, this one, this one. From here, here. Yes, guys, these two are changing their places. Okay, this is constant, this is changing their places, right? And from here to here, the leading one, the leading one has to be the different one, right? The leading one has to be the different one. This is different, this is different. This is different, and this is different. Okay. Unknown. Yes, guys. Did you guys get any breakthrough? Do not tell me how, just tell me the answer. Okay. 
we are finding out it out over here. This is changing, this is changing, okay? So, circle and these three, these three are basically, these three has to be together. Right over here, it, if it comes, then these two have changed their places, okay? From here, again, these two have changed their places. So in the end, in the end, it will be, again, these two have changed their places. Right? Okay, guys. Sir? Yes, yes. Just tell the answer. Don't tell the solution. I'm, I'm just about to get it. Yeah. Option yes, sir. Yeah. One moment, buddy. One moment. Just tell the answer. I'll write it down. Write, write it down over here. See, if you look at it as a train, starting with this yellow dot, this is at the end for sure. Okay. So over here, it will come at the end. No doubt about it. Either C or X can be placed. Okay. Yeah. Option? What option? C. C. Okay, C. Zero and this have changed places from one to two, right? And from two to three again, they have changed places, right? And again, from three to four, they have changed places. Like guys, look at it like a train with these two compartments changing their places. Only these two compartments changing their places, okay? With this dotted one as your front of the train, right? Over here. Now, since the circle was in the starting, so that means it will be interchanged, and now your equal to sign will come front, and your circle will go back. Right, guys? So that is why C will be your answer. Who was that? Who said C? Rajesh, sir. Thank you so much, Rajesh. Thank you so much for your help. Guys, did you get it? Guys, let's 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 just reach at least 50 slides. Come on. You don't want yes, homework. Sir. Yeah, cool. Yes, next in the series. Next in the series, guys. Looks confusing. One arrow, one arrow. Okay. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Okay. So there's all the four options will work out. Okay. It is this way. Option? Yes, sir. A. Okay. A. Let's evaluate that. Okay. C has changed 90 degree. Okay. C has changed 90 degree. One thing is common over here that there will be something like this outside for sure. Okay. Outside for sure. Are we current? Did you get any breakthrough, buddy? If you get, just tell the answer. Once called only, tell the solution. Okay. Guys, do not solve question number 95. We'll solve it together. 94. Uh, 94. Sir, I C. think the number of arrows mm -hmm. is increasing for every two boxes, sir. In one and two, it is one. And three and four, it is two. So five and six, it may be in the three arrows. Yeah, it will remain the same. So this one is gone. Yeah. So option A, maybe the answer. Yeah. So, I mean, you are saying there won't be four arrows now. So, yes, in, yeah, but in A, B and D, you have all the, all the same number of arrows, right? Okay. With same orientation. We need to look at this, this C, C shaped uh, element, right? The po sir, position. From uh, up, sir. Outside, sir. Facing outside. Three and four, the arc facing outside, sir. Three and four, the arc is facing outside, yes. So it will face outside for sure. So that means D has been chucked out. Now you tell me why not this this orientation and why yeah, this orientation remains inside, sir. So it's also stuck. It's clockwise 90 degrees, sir. Clockwise 90 degree. Okay. One moment, one moment. Over here, how does it look? In in figure B, this one, does it look like this? 
Does it look like this? Yes, sir. Okay, so this won't be the answer. Basically, okay. it is basically one moment. Basically, it is just coming out and coming out and getting clockwise 90 degree. Right, this is what you are saying. But if it comes out over here, so it will become clockwise 90 degree. Right. So in okay. the next figure, it will be something like this. Okay, cool. Yeah, good observation. Thank you so much. Yes, guys. Yes, guys. A is your answer. So let's move with question number 95. Yes. Solve this question. Okay. From here it is moving. No, 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 no. It's not moving. Do we have any new guys? Even in PABT, you will face things like this. Okay, they'll give you a booklet. So many tests there. Guys, did you observe something? Option D, this, sir. This and this are same. Yeah, just now I observe. So this and the option answer should be the same. Which one looks like this? Option D. And D, sir. Option D. Thank you so much. Guys, good observation. Sharp, hawk, eye. May God bless you and make you fighter pilots. I will pray to the gods. Yes, guys. 81. Yeah, but if you want to be in army, that's your choice. Guys, you guys solve it. Uh, my mother is calling. Just give me one moment. Yeah. Yes, guys. Yes. Let's be quick. We have six more minutes. Otherwise, your Prabhavati ma'am will, you know, will tell my God, what the heck you are doing? You are coaching my students. No, I'm not doing that. I can't eat her time, guys. Yes. Next in the series. Yeah, I mean, you guys got angry or what? Like, I want all of you to become fighter pilots. <laughs> yeah. Yes, guys, what do you think about this? They are two times, then this is gone. This is also gone. This is also gone after this. Okay. Yes, guys, any breakthrough? Plus, okay, all of these are your cross, okay? The placement of this is over here. It's 90 degree. It's getting opposite from here. These two are remaining constant from figure one to two. Okay. And even these two are not remaining constant. One to two, these two things are constant. These two things have gone out. Yes, guys, any breakthrough over here? One moment, one moment breakthrough. What is that? If you just do this 90, 45, 45, 45, 45. Yes, guys, I got some Euro, Eureka moment over here. So it is moving clockwise by 135 degree. Let's just move all of the elements by 135 degree. So what will happen? This dollar sign will come over here S. This sign will come over here like this. This sign will come over here like this. And this sign will come over here like this. Which one is matching? Which one is matching, guys? At least matching most of it, little bit of it. Option A is matching, sir. Option A is matching. Okay. Option A is matching, but option A won't be the answer because it is not just rotating 135 degrees, but also they have introduced new ones. Okay. I mean, uh, option A won't be the one because uh, it has to face inside. This thing has to face inside. Okay. So by this option A and C, are wrong okay so it has to remain it this way for sure for sure it has to remain this way so it will be like this and wherein they have also been introducing a new a new element okay and the new element over here is this one checking out s guys guys 
Do you think D is the answer in that case, guys? Because look at each of the questions, forget the elements, and Option rotate. B, sir, can B be the answer, sir? Can B be the answer? Uh, look over here. You know what is happening is that you see this and this is remaining constant. Okay, this and this is remaining constant. So at least one of these and this will remain constant. Okay. Yes, sir, so, sir I, uh, my approach is like for every uh, figure, two new symbols are introduced. Sir. You sure two new are being introduced? Yes, sir. You sure? Okay, if two are being introduced, A and C are gone, for sure A and C are gone. Okay. But then uh, if you if you take it this by this approach, by this approach, this will remain constant. Okay, one moment. This will remain constant in that case. Okay. Yes, and uh, these two are the new figures, right? And in the case of D, in the case of D, this will remain constant. And this and this, only one of these figures are changing, right? Yes, sir. No, only one of these figures are changing. But Buddy, there is one more observation that I wanted you to look. Okay. Essentially, 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 this figure is getting inverted, inverted, this three times inverted. So over here, inverted, inverted. So we cannot check out this one. Right. Essentially, essentially, only one of these figures are being replaced. This one is getting replaced with this. Okay. And over here, they have chucked out the whole this one. No, it's a little dicey, right? One moment. One second, guys. One second, guys. Yes. So your approach is saying that one second, this. And this are remaining constant, right? And from figure one to two, from figure one to two, can we say that this element is being reversed to form this element, something like this, right? And from two to three, two to three, which of these are, sorry, Two, two, three, which of these are remaining constant? None of them are remaining constant. This one gone, this one gone, only this and this are there, okay? This and this are there, but this thing have reversed, okay? In this one, these two are still there, but, but these two have gone, okay? So, Harita, I guess you, you are partly correct, you are partly correct, given that in some of the instances, one of the elements, yes, somebody is saying something. Somebody Sir, say. Yes. Option D, do you think it's correct? Option D. Yes, option D should be correct because uh, when we draw it like this, it should come, this element will move over here to look it like this. Okay, and this element will move here, but in reversed position, in this position and this one will move over here and over here we might have a new element and the, the thing over here is that from one to two one element is being changed okay and from two to three two elements are being changed okay and from three to two three to four three to four again two elements are being changing and from which of these two are common over here? Anything common? Anything common over here? Okay, three, two, four, it's like that. Very disturbing one, yeah. No, D, D is in the concentration. Maybe buddy, this is the last question for the day for sure. Uh, we were considering which two, A and D, no? Guys, which two options we were considering? Guys, which two options we were considering? B and D we were considering. 
okay b and d we were considering okay so in that case 45 degree remained the same over here this top 45 degree remained the same 45 degree this and this are the same and over here okay let's just let's just assume that two of these elements are changing okay two are changing okay over here Okay, there's no relation between that. So somebody asked me, can we assume it two at a time? Yes, you can assume it two at a time. These two are changing. Okay, these two are changing. So in the next one also, there'll be two of this will remain constant and the third one will change. So even in that case, even in that case, these two are constant. These two are constant. Given that it is moving by 145 degrees and only these two elements are being changing. Harita, did you get it? Yes, sir. We have to go ahead with option D because essentially this has to move. We are sure, now we are sure that only these two elements will be replaced even though two elements are being replaced. Okay, now if you, if you pick B as your answer, three options, three elements will be replaced, right? I mean, what I mean to say is that this is a different element than this. Right. Sir, why can't we take option A, sir? Option A. So sorry, sir. No, sir. Yeah, option A, then again, uh, this will remain the same, no? All the four options will remain the same. Okay, sir. At least two needs to change. So in D, this is being changed. Okay, as I said to you, this is different from this. We are considering this to be a change in element. Okay, change in element. Okay. Right. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the class. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. 